Hello my YouTube friends. It's a beautiful day here, beautiful afternoon, mid-January here in Florida. I'm zone 9B, Windermere. And I'm in my backyard and i just checking on things and I thought you might enjoy going with me to uh, see how things are progressing. And last week we planted the little square foot garden in the little brown paper bags. And I wanted to, uh, I've been kind of wanting to peek there and it's with great anticipation that I've held back a whole week just to see uh, what's happening. And I'm going to uh, take a little peeky and I thought you guys might like to come along with me. So let me get my little kneeling pad here. Everyone should have a little kneeling pad. And I'll take my little garden spikes out, my earth staples as they're called. And uh, we had 40s uh, for a few nights and I thought, oh, that might be a little bit cold for these guys. And they were planted with compost and then potting soil on top of that. And then I had vermiculite on that as well. So let's see how we did. Uh, let's see, starting with the radishes. You know, I, I like using these little plastic forks as my little identity forks and you can see that I planted these on the on the six actually that was really only uh, today's the 14th so eight days ago and you can see the radishes have all germinated I did three little rows and uh, they seem to have all come up and let's see what do we have here beets and I'm trying to see I it looks like maybe yeah they're just coming up just a tiny, tiny bit. You can see they're a little bit right there. And basil, nope, not a bit, not a bit. That's pretty early for basil. And spinach, oops, I knocked something over here. No, I, wait, 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 there, one little sprout. But here's the real star of the show. And this is the bib lettuce. And look at that, that really is thick. And then in front of it is the leaf lettuce. And that did really well too, because it was like just two rows. And so, wow, I'm very pleased for eight days. That looks fantastic. And so even though it was some nights that were really chilly, and I didn't think that they would survive, but um, it was amazing how much this little frost cloth kept things uh, just a little bit warmer. So uh, that was my one week update and I promise uh, that's a better picture, isn't it? Heck, let's just see all that. Look at all that nice lettuce that I'm going to be able to eat. And so I hope you all will uh, give this a try. It was a great, it's all confined, you know, no weeds so far. Everything's really, you know, as we like to say, Primo, and um, so any, anyway, uh, not much else going on. It's like I said, to, it's mid-January, so it's a little chilly here. And I've got these are radishes that I planted a couple months ago, and sweet potato vines that I was planting just for the for the heck of it. And I also planted some carrots about uh, oh eight weeks ago and some beets underneath that and strictly for the greens uh, if we get carrots out of it that would be great and then over here on the side of the house I had my little side garden another little square foot and you can see those radish tops are coming out quite nicely look good and healthy so I'm a greens eater I like I don't like so much the vegetable as I do the green. So, uh, isn't this a pretty day? Look at that sky. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And this is our preserve. And my husband still, this is the last night for um, uh, our Christmas lights on our 
back porch. She's taking everything else down, so it's kind of the sad night. And uh, the, the plumeria have lost all their leaves. They've gone into their dormancy. And this year I want to be really adamant about uh, keeping them rust-free in hopefully some nice organic ways. The aspirin pulverized or the BC powder uh, really helped the hibiscus with aphids and I want to get on track with that and it also helped with any white fly I might add for anybody who's having those problems. Periwinkles look good. Agapanthus, whoops, let me not miss Agapanthus there. and Agapanthus Jr. And uh, another, another couple months and Florida will be totally awake again. So uh, garden what you've got and come back next week. Uh, we'll be giving you recipes for uh, lettuce, obviously. And hopefully we'll have some spinach and some uh, basil up. So take care everybody. Thanks for visiting. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and take care again. Bye-bye.